An update tonight on a story we have been telling you about high in the heart of Pictou County. There's a little lake that's being poisoned on purpose. Scientists and researchers from provincial and federal departments are taking the extreme action as a last resort. They're trying to kill off a predator in Piper Lake. So the threat uh, of smallmouth bass is that they are both predator and competitor to our native uh, sport fish species such as Atlantic salmon. Uh, and, and uh, brook trout, as well as all other aquatic species, you know, many other aquatic species. They were illegally introduced uh, by somebody um, who, you know, who shouldn't have done that, um, but, but they did. Um, and then they established uh, smallmouth bass reproduced a couple of years in a row. Uh, so, so that made it more, more problematic. Um, by the time we encountered them, they had already spawned at least once. Uh, so there were, you know, there are a fair number of bass here. Um, and hopefully we'll get them all. We made uh, extensive efforts last year through mechanical removals, which included uh, electrofishing, boat electrofishing, backpack electrofishing, various types of nets, traps, angling. We got several hundred fish, but we know we didn't get them all. Well, there are, you know, hundreds of lakes in the, in the in the broader St. Mary's River watershed you know that if bass were to escape from this one um, over the over the course of the next few years likely would establish there as well. In terms of you know our challenges now to fisheries management for freshwater fish you know we're dealing with issues like habitat uh, habitat degradation you know climate change uh, predation from other species um, we believe that invasive species is one of our most concerning uh, challenges and it's permanent when these fish once they escape get in the broader watershed uh, it, we're powerless to really do anything about it the fish toxicant uh, should should result in 100 percent mortality the person in charge of the operation says the team has scooped up a lot of dead smallmouth bass already. He says the poison chemical breaks down quickly and will not hurt any other species downstream. They will continue to monitor the lake until it freezes up and be back on the water in the spring, hoping they don't find any sign of the predator. We're going to take our first quick break now. Do stay with us. More of CBC News is on the way.